theorem on the rank identity that if a is m by n matrix then rank of a is number of leading variables in the general solution of the system ax is equal to 0 and nullity of a is the number of parameters in the general solution of ax is equal to 0 so don't remain remember this uh, remark it is not uh, uh, this theorem so we know that the rank of the matrix is the uh, uh, basis uh, dimension of row space or column space and nullity of a is what is the uh, dimension of null space or the sol uh, solution space of the system x is equal to zero so example is find the basis and rank of a given by this matrix we have to reduce a to row echelon form because we have to find the rank of the matrix so how we can find the rank of the matrix either by reducing the matrix to uh, by reducing the uh, by finding the uh, dimension of row space or column space so in order to find the rank of uh, dimension and basis of a row space we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form and in order to find the dimension and basis of column space we have to reduce this matrix to reduce row echelon form so we are where to find the rank so it depend on you so how we can find the rank where to we will find the uh, dimension uh, of the row space of the a and in order to find the basis and dimension of row space of a we have to reduce this matrix to row echelon form or echelon form uh, so consider the matrix and by successive row transformation that is reduce this 3 2 and this 1 are equal to 0 and the remaining calculation we have this is the uh, uh, reduce uh, this is the row echelon form not reduce row echelon form this is just row echelon form or echelon form this is an echelon form a row echelon form of the matrix a by applying the uh, row transformation so this is not unique this depends on your calculation so this answer is not unique this row echelon form but the number of non-zero rows in these are two and therefore uh, uh, this answer is unique so the non-zero rows of this matrix are what this is the first row one uh, comma two comma minus one comma that is uh, uh, the first row as a first vector as the second row as a second vector there are two non-zero rows and therefore basis for row space of a is the right in the curly bracket these two vectors right in curly bracket that is the set basis for row space of a is the set of these two vectors and therefore the dimension of row space is two dimension of row space is two because uh, the basis contains two vectors and therefore dimension of row space is two of a is two and therefore uh, rank of a is two therefore we say rank of a is two so uh, find the basis and rank of the matrix a so rank of the matrix right here one more sentence that rank of a is two because the dimension of row space of a is two and then we can also find the nullity of the matrix so by using this theorem uh, uh, dimension theorem or rank nullity theorem that uh, rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to number of columns in that matrix so use that uh, theorem rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to number of columns in a so rank of a is two the nullity of a we have to find and number of columns are four one two three and four there are four columns and so nullity of a is four minus two that is two so if you find the rank then we have the nullity and if we find nullity then we have the rank by using this theorem so uh, in order to find rank and nullity we will find only uh, either rank or nullity of the matrix then uh, uh, by using dimension theorem or rank nullity theorem will find the another one so find the number of parameters in the general solution ax is equal to zero if if a is a five by seven matrix of rank three that is where to find number of parameters in the system and the number of parameters in the system is the nullity of a that is indirectly we have to uh, rank is given and we have to find the nullity so use that uh, rank nullity theorem that rank of t uh, rank of a plus rank of nullity of a is equal to number of variables uh, number of columns in the matrix so this a is of order of five by seven means there are five rows and seven columns so use that theorem that rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to seven and so 
You have to find the rank of A. Uh, N is 7. That is number of columns are 7. And rank of A is 3. We have to find nullity of A. So nullity of A is 7 minus 3. That is the substitute rank of A as 3. And then nullity of A is equal to 7. Means nullity of A is 7 minus 3 by using like this. Like this. We, have, we are given a rank. We have to find nullity. The number of columns are 7. So 7 minus 3 that is 4 is the nullity of the matrix. And nullity of the matrix is nothing but the is nothing but the number of parameters in the general solution. Okay. So what is the number of <coughs> leading variables means what and number of parameters means what. So if we take the system, here is the system. So when in the when what are the number of parameters and what, what are the number of uh, variables in the system. So see, this is the example. So this is the system. After this is the system that uh, this is the system. So after uh, uh, reducing the system to echelon form, we have we have again two equations and then we have to assign three unknowns because there are two equations and we have to uh, yes this is the matrix after uh, converting the matrix to echelon form we have this is the echelon form and after rewriting we have this system so this is the uh, this is the uh, system in this system there are two very uh, the two equations and three and un uh, five unknowns so the difference between these two is what 3 minus 2 is equal to 2. The uh, 3 minus uh, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. That is where to assign uh, uh, three unknowns. We have to assign three unknowns, either x3, x4, x5. And these are called uh, uh, parameters. So we have to assign three unknowns, means parameters are three. And number of leading variables are what? x1 and x2, that is 2. Okay. So out of these five, uh, uh, three are parameters and the number of leading variables are two. So what is the leading variables and what is mean of the uh, number of variables? So number of variables means uh, and the number of uh, variables and number of leading variables uh, leading coefficients. Okay. So this is number of the rank of A, uh, rank of A. In this matrix, if you observe the rank of uh, here, we assign three variable because there are two equations and we have to assign three variables. If you observe this example, so what is number of leading variables are two and the number of uh, parameters uh, are three and therefore uh, here three variables are assigned and therefore uh, if you observe nullity of A is three. That is nullity of A is the number of general number of parameters in the system A is equal to zero. And uh, what is the uh, rank of the matrix? Rank of matrix is uh, rank of the matrix is two. For this matrix, there are two non-zero rows. So rank of A is two. Rank of A is two. What is rank? Is number of leading variables. Leading variables. And then parameters means uh, after rewriting the system. We have to assign three variables it means three there are three parameters and the parameters means the nullity of the matrix and the leading variables means the rank of the matrix so this is this is the some another form of the definition of rank of the matrix and so the, these types are examples are important for the mcq type questions so find the number of parameters in the general solution x is equal to zero means find the number of parameters uh, the number of parameters means this the number of parameters means nullity of a okay so that is, that is where we have to find the nullity, uh, we have to find the number of parameters in the general solution x is equal to zero means we have to find the nullity of a and the rank of a is three so rank of a is given and nullity of a. then next question is again the find rank of this this matrix uh, of uh, uh, order uh, uh, five by seven that is, there are seven columns uh, for uh, which AX is equal to zero has two dimensional solution space, two dimensional solution space. That is, uh, uh, nullity is given now. Nullity is uh, two and we have to find the rank. So this is the answer. The, the matrix A has nullity two 
because number of independent uh, two dimensional solution space that is dimension of solution space is two and the uh, dimension of solution space of system x is equal to zero is nothing but the dimension of null space of the matrix x, uh, the system x is equal to zero and the dimension of null space is the nullity of the matrix so nullity of the matrix is two and where to find the rank so the definite uh, theorem is rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to number of uh, columns that is seven and so rank of a is uh, seven minus two nullity of a and therefore it is five by using the rank nullity theorem so uh, if a is my any matrix then rank of a and rank of a transpose both are same so find the basis for null space of the, this matrix null space that is we have to find the uh, indirectly nullity of the matrix nullity that is null space so null space of a is the solution space of the system, homogeneous system x is equal to 0 null space of the matrix a is the solution space of the homogeneous system a x is equal to 0 so what is the a x is equal to 0 that is this is a and x is the matrix of order uh, like x uh, column matrix x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 because there are five columns is equal to 0 0 0 0 so uh, we, we write the system in um, that system in uh, equation form then it is x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 plus 6x4 plus 9x5 is equal to 0 similarly we have the second equation 3x1 plus minus 2x2 plus x3 plus 4x4 minus x5 is equal to 0 similarly third equation fourth equation so we have to find the solution space of this system so this this is the system and we have to find its solution so I have to find first solution of this system. That is, we have to find the x1, x values of x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. And we have to reduce the, uh, we have to apply the Gauss elimination method. That is, uh, form the augmented matrix. Uh, that is our coefficient matrix. So right, uh, this is the augmented matrix, uh, coefficient matrix, right? Here, 0, 0, 0, 0. One more uh, column, 0, 0, 0. I have no need of that writing. We either uh, reduce the, uh, in the in the form of homogeneous system we consider as a augmented matrix or coefficient matrix and we have to reduce the matrix to echelon form so we had to reduce this matrix to echelon form so this is actually not uh, 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 coefficient matrix this is coefficient matrix and we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form that is we have to reduce this 3 minus 1 2 to 0 first it is 1 so the operations are r2 minus 3 r1 then R3 plus R1 and R, R4 minus 2 R1 or R4 plus in bracket minus 2 R1. So after that, we have 0, 0, 0 at this place. And so the remaining uh, entries are also changed. Now we have to reduce this minus 14 to 1. So the op uh, operation is uh, transformation is minus 1 by 14 R2. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1 at this place and it, it is 2. Then we have to reduce this uh, uh, below elements to zero. So the op operations are next. In next step, we have to op op uh, apply R3 minus uh, 4 minus 4 R2 because here is 1. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Then uh, uh, in order to reduce this minus 5 to 0, the operation is R4 plus 5 R2. And then we have all the element entries in the say third row and uh, fourth row are zero and this is an echelon form this is an echelon form row echelon form uh, in order to uh, uh, obtain reduce row echelon form we have to reduce this element four to zero so operation is r1 minus four r2 by using this one we have to reduce this uh, equal to zero so this is an reduced row echelon form reduced row echelon form so we can uh, either reduce the matrix to echelon form or reduce row echelon form. Okay. So uh, then to rewrite the equation. So corresponding system is what? X1 plus X3 plus 2X4 plus X5 is equal to 0. Our right use this matrix to rewrite the equation. And the second equation is X2 plus X3 plus X4 plus X, uh, 2X5 is equal to 0. And therefore, uh, there are two uh, equations and three unknowns, uh, five unknowns. There are uh, the two equation sign, five unknowns. So we have to assign five minus two, that is three unknowns. So we assign x2 as r, uh, x4 as s, and x5 as 
t and then uh, the last equation implies x2 is minus x3 minus x4 minus 2x5 that is uh, we have x2 as minus r minus s minus 2t and from equation number one we have x1 is minus x3 minus 2x4 uh, minus uh, x5 that is minus r minus 2s minus t okay and so uh, the we have to assign three unknowns means uh, these are the parameters there are three parameters and two leading two leading two leading coefficients so uh, two leading va variables so by using this what is the rank and what is the nullity the number of leading variables are two in this uh, example and the number of parameters are three and also rank of a is two and the nullity of a is uh, three there are three parameters and two leading variables because we are, we are we are assigned three unknowns so th these three are parameters there are three parameters and this x1 and x2 are the two uh, leading variables and so rank of a is 2 and nullity of a is 3 so don't use that definition we have to reduce this matrix this solution in the matrix form then uh, as addition of then write r take r common and then we have don't write this step directly write this r plus s plus t so what are the coefficient of r minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 and then what is what are the coefficient of es minus 2 minus 1 0 1 0 so right here and the coefficient of t minus 1 minus 2 then 0 0 1 okay and the, so the basis for the uh, solution space for this system so that is solution space of the basis for this is the basis for uh, uh, null space the basis for null space of the matrix and this is the, actually the solutions uh, basis for solution space of the system h is equal to zero is nothing but the basis for null space of the matrix a is equal to b and the write this as a first vector minus one minus one one zero zero this as the second vector this as the third vector as a in the form of row in the form of vertical position uh, horizontal position it is now it is in the column form we write in the row form so this is the basis for null space this is the this is the basis for null space of a this b okay and the dimension of null space of uh, this uh, null space is what dimension of null space is 3 because uh, there are three vectors in the basis of null space and therefore nullity of the matrix is 3 and the rank of the matrix is 2 because if you observe this is echelon form so it contains two non-zero rows and so the rank of the matrix is 2 and nullity of the matrix is 5 find the basis of several space of r raised to 4 spanned by these vectors three vectors that is the uh, the, uh, the the space spanned by the given vectors is the row space of this matrix so right this first as a vector as a first row the second vector as second row and the third vector as third row and find the uh, basis for row space of this matrix a is nothing but the basis for basis for some space spanned by these three vectors so just uh, prepare uh, form the matrix as uh, its rows are these three vectors and then find the uh, basis for row space of this matrix and in order to find the basis for row space of this matrix we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form row echelon form so we have to reduce this two and these two are equal to zero so r2 minus 2 r1 r3 minus 2 r1 so we have this matrix then we have to reduce this minus 2 to 1 so minus one half r2 as the application so we have 0 1 minus 5 2 then we have to reduce this minus 3 to 0 so the application is uh, transformation is r3 plus 3 r2 and we have this then we have to reduce this minus 4 to 1 so the operation is minus 1 by 4 r3 so we have this uh, 20 by uh, 4 is minus 5 uh, 25 minus 5 is minus 4 is minus 5 that is multiply by mm, multiply by one by one by minus one by four minus one by four so we have this and this is an row echelon form okay and there are two non-zero uh, three non-zero this is the non-zero this is non-zero this is non-zero 
So uh, denote the first non-zero row as a V1 vector V1, second non-zero row V2, V3. So these three uh, forms the basis for row space of the matrix A, row space of the matrix A, and consequently form a basis for space spanned by the given three vectors. So by uh, the space, the way the basis for space suppose space span by these three vectors is the set contains these three vectors v1 v2 v3 uh, 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 this set form the set of these three vectors and it is the basis for suppose space span by the given three vectors okay and so its dimension is three find the basis of suppose space span by these uh, four vectors so uh, form the matrix A as a uh, row, these vectors are row of the matrix. So we have to find the uh, subspace span by these four vectors means we have to find the uh, row space of the matrix, this matrix A. So reduce this matrix to echelon form. Here is what we have to reduce this 4, 5 and 2, R2, 0. So operation are R2 minus 4, R1, R3 minus 5, R1, R4 minus 2, R1. And so after application, we have this. We have to reduce this minus 7 to 1. So minus 1 by 7 R2 as the application. We have this. And then reduce this 2 to 0, minus 7 and minus 4. So while reducing this minus 7 and minus 4 to 0, we have all the entries in the third row and fourth row are equal to 0. And so this is that echelon form. This is the row echelon form. And so there are two non zero rows. What are that? 1, uh, comma 2, minus 1. And, uh, the second row as a second vector and so this is the this uh, two element set is the basis for uh, row space of a that is is the basis for sub, uh, subspace of r3 spanned by these three vectors four vectors right that sentence find the basis for column space of a consisting entirely columns of a entire columns of a so we have to find the basis for column space of the this matrix so reduce this matrix to a reduce row echelon form because we have to find the uh, basis for column space of A. So consider the matrix A and reduce the matrix to reduce row echelon form. So uh, in order to reduce the matrix to reduce row echelon form, we have to reduce this minus 2 and 3 to 0. So operations are R2 minus uh, R2 plus 2 R1 and R4 minus 3 R1. So we have this matrix now after this row transformations. Then we have to reduce this minus 1 to plus 1. Then uh, operation is minus, uh, transformation minus 1 into R2. So we have this. And then we have to reduce this minus 3 to 0. So operation is R3 plus 2 R1. Uh, R3 plus 3 R1. R3 plus 3 R1. Okay. So we have, this is the matrix again after this uh, transformation. R3 plus 3 R1. Okay. We have this. Don't write this R3 plus 3R1, R2, not R1, R3 plus 3R2. By using this one, we have to reduce this. Then uh, we have to reduce this minus 5 to 1. Minus 5 to 1. So minus 1 by 5 R3. So we have this is the matrix. Then we reduce this minus 13 to 0. So operation is R4, R4 uh, plus 13 R4, R3. By using this one, we have to reduce this minus 13 to 0. So we, we have this is. And this is actually uh, a row echelon form. We have to reduce this matrix to reduce row echelon form. So what is the difference? This is a row echelon form. We have to reduce this matrix to reduce row echelon form in order to find the uh, basis for column space of it. So we have to reduce the uh, elements of the columns that contains leading one to zero, except that one. So this, uh, is, this is the column contain leading one. So if you observe, this is one and remaining element are zero. But and this column contains leading one and this column contains leading one. For what are that? First, second and fourth number column. So I do reduce this 2 to 0. This 2 to 0. So what is the application? R1 minus 2 R2. We have 0 at that place. R, R1 minus 2 R1. Uh, 2 R2. R1 minus 2 R2. Not R2. And now we have to reduce this uh, uh, minus 3 to 0. Next step, R2 plus um, uh, R2 plus 3 R1, R2, uh, R, R3, here R3, right, R3, 3 R3. 
so we have this uh, and then uh, this uh, we have to reduce this matrix to uh, number zero so r one minus two r three so one by one apply all these applications we have this is the this is the uh, reduce row echelon form of the matrix so we have to reduce this two to zero then uh, this two n minus three to zero so one by one a uh, first reduce this two to zero uh, or first reduce this um, uh, two n minus three to zero so we have this by using these two operations we have these two r zero then we have to reduce this two to zero so what is the operation r one minus two r two after this we have this so uh, apply these two application at a time that reduce this two n minus three one time zero and this two next time zero so this is that reduce row echelon form because if you have uh, observe the first column second column and third column contains leading one these are the leading one and the remaining elements of the that in that columns are zero so this is a reduced row echelon form so denote these these uh, three vectors one zero zero these three columns one first column second column and fourth column this forms the basis for this matrix r and we have to write is write the we have to write the uh, basis for column space of a so the corresponding column column number one column number uh, two and column number four these uh, four four three columns that is c1 one minus two zero three right as a first column as a first vector second column as second vector and fourth column as third vector c4 as this and so this forms the basis for a column space of a right in the set in the set form right in these three vectors in in the set and that set is a basis for column space of a and therefore this set contains three vectors and therefore uh, dimension of column space of A is 3 and so we can say that rank of A is 3 find the rank and nullity of the matrix so these are the, some examples so we will see these examples in the next lecture find rank and nullity so this is actually repetition of the previous topic that uh, rank and nullity means we have to find the basis and dimension of null space and uh, row space or column space. So we'll see the remaining example in the next lecture.